So the iPhone 15 just came out. You are going to be receiving yours very soon, or maybe you're thinking about buying one in the coming days. So you're probably thinking about cases. So I went out and picked up all the new options. I decided to get the Pro Max variant for these cases, but of course this will apply to any iPhone 15 that you end up purchasing. I wanna to get to the bottom of which is the best of the Apple cases also with a separate mention for later case as an option. The iPhone 15 Pro Max fine woven case. That is a new style for Apple. Obviously, as the name implies, it's gonna have a little woven texture. It also coincides with their new woven wallet, which will be a special mention. And we'll see how that interacts with all these different cases because it's MagSafe compatible. Does it work better with the woven case as opposed to the clear case or the silicone case? Now the the pricing here is different. I have Canadian prices in front of me. The wallet's kind of expensive, 79. The fine woven case, also 79. Clear case, 69. And the silicone case, the same price there. So the woven has a price premium, so it will have to be better in order to justify the extra 10 bucks. So let's go ahead and actually start with the fine woven case. I will select my favorite. And I also want you guys to do the same. Let me know down in the comments Hello? What? There's gotta be a seal somewhere, but I don't think so. A little less smooth than usual for Apple, honestly. Hmm. So I also want you guys to let me know in the comments section, which of these you would choose. Are you leaning towards the woven, the clear case or the silicone case? So this is fine woven case. It almost, it has like a little mark on it already right there, a little dent. It is extremely fine woven. Actually, I do like that texture. It's much less like a linen type fiber and almost silky to the touch. I think that's gonna be satisfying for people. People. I do question the long-term durability of it, and maybe I will give it a couple of little scratches. Here's what it sounds like at the moment. Oh, there you can see those scratches already showing up. I'm curious, this, this is gonna be one of those ones where over time, whatever sort of patina it develops might be something people appreciate. Apple no longer making a leather case, which obviously does that as well on its own. Is it gonna be a pleasing type of long-term look or is it just gonna look ratty? I don't know. Now this is a full coverage case, of course, with MagSafe built in. You obviously have your various button maps, including your new action button because this is the Pro Max variant. The remainder of the frame, not fine woven at all. This is some sort of plasticky rubber-like material. It's not unpleasant. This is a strange material, this fine woven material. Is it one of these recycled products? Apple is saving the universe. Ah, the fine woven case is made from luxurious, micro twill with a soft yet durable suede-like texture to protect your iPhone. The material may show wear over time. Interaction with MagSafe accessories will leave slight imprints. Now it doesn't say anything about it being recycled material or anything like that. It's just micro twill. So you're gonna have to be okay with something that doesn't necessarily look pristine. This is what it's gonna look like on your device. Huge cutout. Well, anytime I'm looking at the entire cutout like this, it always looks looks huge to me now when I compare it to the cases that we make, but you do have a frame there. So when you place it down, it will sit above those lenses. It's kind of tough to see, but the frame extends beyond the camera lenses. So there will be some protection there. If we reach for the woven wallet, I think we're gonna have a pretty seamless integration here. And you know what's interesting to me? It's so fine woven that it almost feels like leather to the touch. It does not feel like a fabric. The fibers are so fine, it almost interprets it leather-like. You slap this on to the MagSafe case and that thing, it's pretty solid on there. So the combination of the MagSafe wallet, fine woven wallet with the fine woven case is that you're having a twofold sort of grip to it. You're getting the grip of the magnet initially, which is strong here, but then also the texture itself, those fine little teeth sort of dig in a little bit and you get a much more solid in and out of the pocket. We'll test the new MagSafe wallet with the other cases as well to see if that varies. So next up we have the 15 Pro Max clear case. Each one is a slightly different unboxing experience. Now this has been around for a while. This is for somebody who wants kind of a more traditional case feel. It's clear, you can actually see the MagSafe components on this case. Maybe that's something you like. 
So we slap the phone. This is sleek. Like, I like the feel of it. Slick though. From a grip perspective, you're not feeling quite as confident. And let's try out the wallet here. The wallet is on there, but it's definitely not gripping as. The other thing to remember with all clear cases is they do tarnish a little bit over time, unlike maybe a pleasing patina that might occur with the woven and definitely occurs with leather. This is probably just gonna look uglier over time. And obviously you're gonna get little fibers and things that go underneath that you're gonna see. It will look really fresh at first. Protection wise, I think they're gonna be comparable. The clear case is $10 less, if that's significant to you. Now the last is maybe the most classic of all because Apple has been making silicone cases for a very long time. And I should mention, by the way, the colors I chose here are all colors that I personally like and would use. This one is called Storm Blue. It's a nice dark blue, but you can get this thing in like a hundred different colors. We pull the seal here. The silicone is our last option. And these always feel super smooth when you first pull them out. However, in and out of the pocket, they just pick up a little bit more in terms of fibers and they stick a little bit on the entry and on the exit. This one is lacking any stick whatsoever. So it could still slip out of your pocket in like basketball shorts. I've had this experience. This one is gonna grip a little in the pocket but it also means when you go to pull it out of your pocket, it might stick too much. I wonder where the woven fits in that regard. Woven, pocket, test, a little bit of grip, but coming out clean. And let's try with the wallet attachment in the pocket coming out clean. And this is a relatively loose fitting pocket. This is probably not gonna slide out unintentionally. It's all about finding this optimal grip. W when we were thinking about the later case, it was like, okay, how do you make something thin and light, but then it can at least solve certain problems. Like for example, unintended pocket slip. The woven does achieve the same thing. This guy, the clear, well, it has no friction whatsoever. Look at that. That baby is flying. So that's worth noting. And then last up, the silicone, that is the stickiest of the bunch. So if you really don't want that thing to slide out of your pocket, this is going to do it. Over the course of a, a year's worth or years worth of using these things, you start to notice these small differences, particularly somebody like myself that looks at a variety of different options in this regard. Uh, I do like this color. This storm blue is pretty cool. If we slap this one onto the phone, this goes on very easy. It has that nice soft microfiber interior and that's what it looks like from the outside. Once again, this lip goes up beyond the camera section and this is the same price as the clear version. So this Silicone will be a popular choice just because people are familiar with it and comfortable with it and they can get whatever color and style they choose. Now the last up I do want to just highlight because we do have the later case ready to go for the new phones and these just slap on super easy. This is an option for a person that really prioritizes sleekness and thinness and appreciates a woven like texture but in this case through using Aramid Kevlar fibers. This is available in a few different colors. Actually funny enough I was thinking like as a woven substitute, you go with this coffee color and you still get the stick of the uh, MagSafe wallet on the back. Now, how does this hold? Actually, it holds pretty well. And this is just strictly through thinness. I didn't want to add any weight to the case. Later case gives you another option, but this video is all about analyzing Apple's offerings. Of course, we'll have links to all of these cases in the description, whichever is most suitable to you. I think out of this bunch, I would probably go for the woven. I don't think I'm going to like the way that this ages. It's going to have an aged look to it. Maybe that's not something that bothers you. Like, for example, I'm a fan of leather and I don't mind so much that it shows a little bit of wear and tear on it. But it's important for you to know if you're a person that like the smallest scuff bothers you, I probably wouldn't go this way. Each one has its benefits and drawbacks. I know this one sticks too much in my pocket. That drives me crazy in shorts, for example, when you're in the car and you're trying to wrangle it and get it out of there. This one probably doesn't grip enough for me, and I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of the clear aesthetic, and the hues and tones that are available in the new woven texture are kind of to my taste as well. So for me, it would be the fine woven. For you, I hope you'll let me know in the comments which of the bunch you would choose, and also which color you would go for. So I hope this little breakdown gave you a little bit more insight into what to expect with each of the case options coming from Apple for the upcoming iPhone 15. Maybe it helped you make your choice, and obviously that's important at this time because everybody's getting these brand new phones and you probably want to protect it. And this is not the easiest choice. In some ways, it's harder to pick a case than it is to pick a phone. You may have already known for a long time, I'm, I'm upgrading my phone, I'm getting that next iPhone. But then it's like, wait a sec, I didn't consider case at all. But hopefully this highlighted the differences between Apple's selection.